YouTube Nation, welcome back to the channel. For everybody who's first time tuning in, please like, share, and subscribe. What up, y'all? Back at y'all. Before I go any further, this going to drop on a Saturday, the day after the Lakers smashed the Warriors, eliminated them cats. The champs is gone. I mean, the Lakers about to be new champs. But this video, I'm saying this today for tomorrow. Happy Mother's Day to all you beautiful women out there, all you women here, wherever you're from, wherever you're at. Happy Mother's Day. We appreciate all of you mothers. Everybody should appreciate their mothers, man, regardless of what you go through. Appreciate it for giving you life. Appreciate for, you know, giving your brothers and sisters life. You know what I mean? Appreciate your grandmothers. Just happy Mother's Day to all you women out there. Much respect. We love y'all. We can't be without y'all. So let me get into a little something for y'all. I was throwing something on, uh, I might have been a homie chill channel. Somebody had put up something and they were saying something about uh, do non affiliates get preyed upon in prison? Well, it depends on the non affiliate because some do. And, 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 and how that happens is because a lot of them go up in there, a lot of people go up in there and get to hang up with gangbangers, right? You get to hang up with Crips and Bloods and you just kind of just like get, they, they, they tend to try to get real comfortable with it. And they get comfortable with it and they just be like, they let the guards down and, and then a lot of them start, you know, they got somebody looking out. Just say they looking out and you're dealing with some Crips or Bloods, some gang members, just say gang members. You're dealing with some gang members who ain't really got nobody looking out for them. But here it is, you just non affiliate cat and you got all this stuff coming through. You going to canteen, you spending that buck 80 every month, getting a package every month, getting visits. You know what I mean? You you own. And, and a lot of times, you know, the non affiliate dude gonna run with some gang members, you know, because you know, even though they non affiliate, they grew up around gang members, so they connect. They still part of the culture. They just never got put on the hood. They just down in that helicopter out there, boy. They stay shooting around here, man. It's as long as they ain't in front of my yard, right? <laughs> Don't come running up in this motherfucker, which they did before. They have sent the cert team looking for me one time. That was some shit when I was on high control parole. Check this out. Let me say this though. Any for all y'all out there know about high control parole that's done done time in prison, right? This is my second time was on high control parole. Even more so this time because this time I got out from having a life sentence. Now, this is off topic, but I just wanted to get into this because I just spoke on the cert team that hit the house. So one one day I was at work and shit, and, and my girl wifey hit me up and she like, hey, these people just ran up in our house looking for you. And the fucking with guns and shit, like some task force type shit. And I'm like, what the hell is that? You know what I mean? And she she took a picture of the motherfuckers. They went in the house, pushed her to the side, went in there with the guns, the, the riot gear with the choppers and shit. Looking for them. I'm like, I ain't did shit since I've been out. I'm working. I'm cool. What the hell is this about? This is part of the parole. This is this came with the parole right here. And I called my parole officer the next day. I was like, yes, I was still on parole at this time. I might have I had might have had only been home maybe like uh, a little less than a year. Yeah, it wasn't even a year yet, you know what I mean? Because this is like my second job since I've been out. Max, yeah, I was working for Tesla at the time. I had a little bullshit job working for this Tesla company, this little small Tesla hub, rather, at the time. But, uh, yeah, so I, 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 I take off, I go home, and she showed me these pictures. These dudes and ran all up in the house, looking through the attic and shit, just looking like, you know, looking for me, searching the house, looking for guns and shit like that. But again, that came with high control parole for me right there. And it wasn't even the parole department. It was something to deal with the Department of Corrections, some shit they got going on called the CERT team. So then we start pulling them up and I start seeing these niggas. These niggas like some motherfuckers out here in, you know what I mean, uh, a desert storm, Iraq, like they at war, like like they goon squad with guns or some shit. You know what I mean? They got the whole get down. Cause say wifey took pictures of them and shit. I'm like, look at these motherfuckers. All up in the crib like this. What the fuck is this about? And my parole said, was like, ain't nothing I can do about that. That's some shit that just happened. That's come with uh, Department of Corrections. That's some shit they got. It's called a cert. I don't even know what the fuck cert stand for. I, I looked it up back then. I forgot what it said, but I'm like, damn. Then I know other people tell me similar stories like that that got out and that's been on high control parole as they've been through similar situations like that. But that's crazy. So now, back to this. Dr. the non-affiliates. The non affiliates in prison getting preyed upon. It happens. Just like weak gangbangers get preyed upon. I see dudes claiming hoods. Everybody know they're weak, but they prey upon them because they feel they're weak. And they ain't really got no backbone. They're not really from where they're from. You got dudes just coming there just like, okay, you lived over there, but you claiming that shit. You ain't even from over there. You ain't ever put in no work. Nobody know you, but you claiming that in there. Why, the, why it's good? Because it was somebody from that hood on the yard. And, you know, you, you roll with that person and that person left. You continue running with that. Now, other people came because you've been there for like two years. The person that was there when the non-affiliate first got there, who we knew from the hood, 
dude is gone. And a couple of people you hung with, they did, but a lot of them is gone. So now you got a whole new wave of homies from the car that came through. You got new predators coming through that motherfucker. They prey upon you if you weak. If you solid, and niggas don't respect you because every time somebody pull up, they don't keep telling you, like, yeah, the homie's straight. He don't bang, but he's straight. He run with us. That's how it go. But if you weak and you just been like, you know, niggas been covering for you and the niggas that was covering for you is gone. And here come these other little riders, these other little active cats coming through here want to make a name for themselves. Just little scandalous motherfuckers. They going to press you. They don't get the best up out of you for themselves. They gonna get your bag. They don't get up in you like that. Start, hey, buy me this and buy me that. Buy me this, buy me that. But you know, a nigga's giving you a list every month, and you, you become a victim. I mean, but once again, there's a lot of cats that's not affiliated that's straight down ain't going for none of that shit. That was like that's grown men. That's 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 what it is, y'all. It ain't about. That's what people get fucked up. People think you got to be part of a gang to become a man. Bro, you don't, bro. You don't need to be in the gang to be a motherfucking man. You be a man by just being yourself, by just understanding who you are and what you was here to be. What you, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're born a man. You're supposed to be a man before you put on, chose these colors with this affiliation. You be a motherfucking man first. Before that, you know what I mean? A lot of us tend to like, we, once we become part of the hood and shit like that, that's when niggas start developing hard. Niggas get hardcore and all that shit. But you don't have to do that, man. That's that's taking a long way, bro. That's taking a long route, the dangerous route. You don't got to do that to become a man. Become a man, just become a man. Look at what you see as a man. Whoever you see in your life, your family, like uncles, pops, grandpops, whatever, step pops, whoever, cousins, whatever, brothers. Somebody you see that's hope, upholding that image of what a man is. That's who you emulate. You emulate that cat. The same way a lot of us emulate the, the same type of person that's affiliated. That's who we looked upon like, okay, them niggas is hard. Them niggas, them niggas look hard. That's why we want to be gangbangers. Like, that shit look hard. Them niggas getting respected. Them, them niggas is down. I, niggas like that. That's what made us want to be like, I want to be part of that too. I'm from over here, so I grew up on the same street. Them niggas grew up on... Them niggas looking like, you know, they the shit. That's influence. So we sought that. People like myself, we sought that in, in the culture, in the game, in the game culture. But you don't have to. You just be a motherfucking man. Take care of your responsibilities. Be solid. You know, you can have some of the same values that niggas in the gangs have. I mean, that's because you know these niggas. You live on the same street with these cats. You grew up with these cats. But that don't mean you got to be part of that. You know what I mean? If you ain't, that ain't in you, bro. That's my whole thing, man. It's not in a lot of people, man. They 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 try to go that route. And once again, that's why we got so many people on the dropout side, like snitches and all busters and all that kind of shit. Because, dude, you signed up for something that you really not cut out to be. You know what I mean? Not saying that anybody was ever cut out to be a gangster, a gangbanger, or whatever. A lot of us feel different. A lot of people feel that way. Like, I was born to be a crip. I was born to be a blood. That's how people feel. I was born to be a gangbanger, whatever. Some people feel like that. I once felt like that. Because it's like, that's come with me being brainwashed. That's what, what I put in my head. It's what I taught myself. I taught myself this gang shit. That's all I know. And that's all I live. So I live that shit. So now that I done done it, I can speak on it because I've been there. I'm not, I'm speaking on experience. I'm not I'm not somebody that's like motherfucking journalist that's like been uh, uh, reading the news and shit that live motherfucking uh, <laughs> north north of the fucking five freeway past the valley north of north of Magic Mountain some motherfucking where which I don't know north of the Grapevine north of Bakersfield just anywhere anywhere that's where it's not this culture at where it's not active at. I'm somebody that lived it. Some people come from Simi Valley, like, bro, you ain't you ain't never lived in in this, but you're gonna speak on this, you don't understand this. It's best to get information about gangs from people who been really gang banged. It's best to get information about people in prison from people that's really done time in prison, not somebody who just interviewed a bunch of people in prison. Though you will get a lot of knowledge from that. You will. You know what I mean? You will receive a lot of knowledge from that because you interview so many people, so you learn at the same time. But it's best to get knowledge from somebody who actually lived it. That's with anything in life. You know, you want to learn about the stock market. Don't don't learn it from me because I ain't never been involved in the stock market. Learn from somebody that's in the stock market. You want to learn about con being a contractor, building houses. Learn from somebody who done done that. So y'all get a lot of bogus information about this culture and the way things is because you're getting it from people who haven't lived it, who haven't done it. 
On this channel, you're getting it from somebody who didn't done it all as far as that. Not, I mean, it's a lot of things I haven't done, but I'm just talking about gang banging in prison. You know I mean, street gang banging and gang banging in prison. I done, done it. You know what I mean? I done done it. Uh, a lot of us done done it. A lot of cats on these channels, we done done it. You know what I mean? You got a lot of genuine people on these YouTube channels these days, man, that's putting out information, that's sharing information with the world about this culture. Uh, you got a lot of people who put out a lot of bullshit about this culture. Uh, I mean, people want to know. Just like you want to know about gangsters in America. You want to know about gangsters in America. You want to know about gangbangers in America. You want to know about Crips and Bloods and Southsiders and North Daniels and all that in, in the California Department of Corrections. Just like you want to know about that type of shit in the federal prisons and Texas prisons and Louisiana prisons and all these other prisons, Seattle and all these other states. You People want to know this kind of shit. We all got a story to tell. So we put it out here on these channels to share with y'all because a lot of y'all is curious. It's like, I be curious. I be curious about a lot of different things. I don't be so much curious about as all this gang stuff on these YouTube channels because I didn't live that. So everybody doing their thing. I check them out. I listen to quite a few channels. I, I see what they talking about. Sometimes I can look at somebody else's channel and they can say something and that, inf I, 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 like, that influenced me, that inspired me to... Go ahead, like they gave me the alley oop. Now I'm finna go ahead and score. I'm finna make a video because some I heard homie Chill say something like that. Or I heard on the Triple R podcast or any other podcast, or baby gangster, somebody, just period. You know what I mean? It's that's that's how I go. We just listen to other people they talking about, and he could say something like, hmm, that sparked something in me. So that's where this topic come from. I think it was Chill who spoke on something about uh prison uh non affiliates in prison. Uh getting preyed on or something. It was one of his videos I saw a while back or something. I don't know. Something like that, but it just came to my head like I just I'm gonna go ahead and speak on that. Because I know this I know a situation, check this out, Calipat. Everybody's in Calipat with me in two thousand one, know what know what I'm talking about, know who I'm talking about and when I'm, when this took place in building four. So we got a non affiliate cat, right? And he running with this blood dude. Non affiliate cat getting he getting his money. So the blood dude got him in the cell with him. They doing their thing. But the non-affiliate cat do some dumb scandalous shit to a crib. One of the homies from Great. I think it was a homie from Great. I think it was a homie from Great or Santana. Whatever it was. The non-affiliate cat did some bullshit. So the blood dude, being that's his selling, he knew this dude from the street. He ride with the non-affiliate dude. And now it become a problem with the crib. You didn't get this dude a knife or some on his crib or some some of that nature. Anyway, they have a melee. It become a, a isolated melee in building four. The homies from Compton and Watts and some bloods. It was an even number. I believe it might have been something like four on four or something like that. Some something like that. They end up going to the hole and most of them all came back except the person who initiated. So non affiliate dudes being there and they use game bangers for protection a lot. And they'll do some dumb ass shit and get some shit started. Now you didn't got these two groups in clash over the non-affiliate dude. So I'm not all sympathetic for non-affiliates in prison. I'm not for, I'm not saying everybody's non-affiliate, you know, uh deserve I mean, I, I I don't know, I'm not saying like they they innocent, but like that. Because they do dumb ass shit too. So a lot of times some shit that happened to some non-affiliates in prison, y'all don't know the whole story. That nigga done done some dumb ass shit. And you didn't, you didn't cause the problem. You could have caused a problem in Susanville. But now you in Calipat. And niggas remember that happened up there. You didn't got a whole bunch of homies stabbed up or something. Caused a race ride or something. You're going to answer to that. Rather you're non-affiliate or you're affiliated. So non-affiliates do get preyed on. All non-affiliates ain't weak. Some are. You got some non-affiliates going to stand up and they gonna, every time they get a chance, they're going to they gonna get cracking. Every time somebody press them, they might be in the hole a lot, but that's because they're not going for none. They just stay handling their business. Some are solid. I know quite a few that's solid. I didn't fuck with, you know what I mean? Quite a few. I got a whole bunch of non-affiliate homies in there that, that, that know how to play their position, how to stay in their lane. Some shit you don't get involved in. Some shit you don't let everybody know what the fuck you got. You got some now in the field that's just trying to be hip. Just like I'm in prison. I got the sack. I want to pop it with these niggas. I let these crip niggas over here know that I'll be, I'll be hitting the shit. So I'm on. And it's cool until somebody come and press that issue. And niggas praying on your motherfucking ass and start getting in your sack. And then you like, before you know it, you know, it's all bad. You didn't got whooped on. They didn't rob you something. But that happened to affiliate cats too. That's weak. 
I mean, it's, and some of these prisons, y'all, you, 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 in, in California, you got a lot of weak prisons in California. Let me be clear of that. You got a lot of soft prisons out here. A lot of these prisons, we got more prisons than any other state, but a lot of them is soft. So a lot of y'all know about your, your family member or somebody that's in some of these prisons. You be worried about them. Don't worry about them. So a lot of these niggas, these prisons are soft. A lot of niggas ain't really going to the high level prisons. You know what I mean? Where it's really going down at, you know what I mean? So they be in these soft prisons, so they get get away with a lot of shit. But when you start going to these high level prisons where you got a lot of lifers at, the game changes, man. When you got active lifers on the yard, the game changes, you know what I mean? Because some places you be with these lifers, they trying to get out. So like, okay, dude, and been down 20, 30 years. That's such and such. You know the name. He's been around a long time. He got the big old name in the prison system or in the streets. He reputable cat, right, from his section. But he's trying to go home. So he, it's, you met him, he cool, he's sharing some wisdom with you. But you be in some of these places where a lot of these dudes just got a lot of time. They don't give a fuck. And they doing stupid shit. Everybody trying to make a name for themselves. And, you know, I've been there, but I never prayed on non-affiliated cats. I never, I never been with that. Uh, I didn't do that. I even been, I never been the one that's even saying that my homies can't get a fair, a non-affiliate can't get a fair one with a homie. A lot of dudes be like, the homies can't get no fair one with no non-affiliate. You know what I mean? The homies can't get a fair one with a, 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 somebody from the other side of the fence. Why not, nigga? Let the nigga get down. You got a problem with I was like, nigga, you gotta let him get out, let him get a fair one. But a lot of these dudes are not gonna have that. He's not gonna accept a non-affiliate beating up a crip or beating up a blood. Other young cats would be like, fuck that nigga, cuz he ain't from nowhere. Let's mix this nigga. And then blended him up. You know what I mean? That shit happened a lot. I never been with that. I been like, you know what I mean? But majority, you know what I'm saying, some situations you're dealing with different cars, different sex. Yeah, different gangs in there. You, I can't tell these niggas what to do. They homie got into it with this dude over here. He don't bang. He got the best of they homie. Yes, they don't want to come back and pack him out or bust on him or something. They just not going to accept they homie then lost to a non-affiliate. That's what's fucked up about it, man. So, to all my homies out there, that my non-affiliate homies, man, man, just stay the fuck away from prison. Do your best, man. Be a man. Remember that. Be a man. Continue to be a man. And by you being a man, you're going to make the right decisions that's that's not going to uh, have you... Uh, not so fast to have you back in prison. What I mean by that is because if you being a man, you, you're not going to be hanging around these other niggas over here and they done done some dumb ass shit and got you caught up in something. You being a man, you being an individual, you taking care of your own responsibilities. You doing what you do. And if you put yourself in that situation, that's on you. You're not part of no collective, so you ain't got to roll with the car and get caught up. You do what the fuck you want to do. That's part of being a man. That's the first part of being a man and avoiding this. This lifestyle because it's not in you, dude. So just avoid it. If you didn't grow up in it, man, don't, 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 don't do it. Don't do it, man. Stay the fuck away. If you didn't grow up in it. Don't just, you know, because it's cool. Because the rappers now all of a sudden want to do it. Don't do it, bro. Stay a non-affiliate, bro. You be respected way more. Trust me, homie, and just be solid. Be a man. Be a man first and foremost. That's all you got to do in life. That's your only responsibility in life, man, is to be a man. And understand what a man is first. Because once you understand what a man is, you understand why that responsibility is so important. You understand why that's no...